Nicola Savage. She's just about to tell me why her product has come to Babcoke. So Nicola, can you just tell me a little bit about the product here today? Yeah, we've got a mix of solutions actually here today. So Accelerate is very, very focused on resilient um, communication solutions, which is great for the public safety um, environment. Very typically, people have known us for our vehicle-based solutions. Um, that's quite exciting at this moment in time. In fact, our founder's actually in Washington, D.C. at this moment in time at one of the major satellite conferences. As we start to embark on solutions which need ubiquitous connectivity, um, which is going to be huge for public safety markets, particularly for um, app responder applications, we're talking about things where it's smart ambulance projects, smart fire appliances of the future, which, you know, 5G is coming along, the new satellite infrastructures are coming along, and it's actually going to be a real blend of different types of communications, which is starting to be already integrated into vehicle-based solutions, portable-based solutions, um, to really provide the, the resilience that people need, but fundamentally be able to transfer the type of data and applications that people want to start using to improve public safety um, or improve performance, improve applications that they might be using. So Accelerate are already involved with many smart ambulance projects throughout um, the, the global territories. We're doing lots of things within the Middle East. We've already embarked on some partnerships within the UK. Um, I think that there's a big difference in what we're trying to achieve. We're really trying to go at it from an integrated perspective and engage with the markets to understand what it is that they want to do so that this becomes seamless connectivity going forward um, in, a, in comparison to sometimes quite a disjointed and fragmented approach to bringing solutions um, into their own organisations. Um, so we do have some of our vehicle solutions here um, that are already widely used across many of the markets within the UK, but we have also brought with us some of our, our product ranges. Um, these have actually come out of many of our integrated solution projects, um, but now are operating as standalone products which have been used for many operations throughout the UK. Um, we're going to have Steve McLinden from Mid and West Wales talk to us shortly, um, who we are working with for the development of a secure portable hotspot. That's our Lynx hub um, and effectively is a portable hotspot that you can take to any type of location. It operates using dual SIM technology um, and actually we're interfacing touchscreen capability and putting the control of the network in the user's hands so that they can absolutely manage any of their responder or incident requirements on the ground. One of the other solutions we've brought with us to Batco is our UAV streaming solution. That is really widely being used now um, throughout police forces or UAV teams within the UK and effectively it's a plug and play solution. So plugging a HDMI feed into a portable solution and being able to stream that footage securely to any type of location around the world so anybody on any mobile device any tablet in a control room just has access to information and real-time situational awareness um, so we're here to kind of talk to people engage with the market I think fundamentally also knowledge share um, and show people actually not what we do but how people are using these types of technologies to improve their own operational environments and fundamentally future-proof their organisations in what is quite a digital trend um, starting, starting to happen. We all want to be smart, um, we're smart in our homes these days, um, you know, we're going to start to see those trends come, come into the, the emergency responder environment and actually the emergency responder environment is one of the most pioneering environments um, and I think it's a pleasure to be involved with critical communications. You talked out there about you know there's hardware and software that you're developing alongside the end user. I mean, are you excited about the future? You talk about 5G there but you know it's not just about 5G is it? No, I mean 5G is an interesting term. Um, we're involved with many projects. In fact, one of the projects that we are engaged with is um, the Dorset Rural Connected Coast Guard project, which is um, with Dorset County Council. Um, our involvement there is, 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 you know, a 5G solution, but actually 5G is going to be a network of networks. Um, it isn't one thing. Um, it's ubiquitous connectivity that we're talking about, and yes, we're very excited. Um, there 
there are new satellite constellations coming into play and you only have to look at the mainstream news at the moment with the amount of people that are doing a space race at this moment in time for what is the future of satellites. So with LEO and MEO coming into play, um, you're going to start to see the communications, technology and infrastructure as we know it today really really change over the next kind of year to five years and what we're connected to is going to be a very different world and environment to what we are currently connected to so it's about preparing for that future it's about understanding what that future is and fundamentally it's about the applications what do you want to do and how can we improve what we do on the ground to to use all of these fantastic technologies that are available I I think we're mostly excited and where we get involved is fundamentally about integrating, blending these solutions, making it really simple actually for the responders and, and, and people who have to operate this solution, really easy to seamlessly or automate access onto these different networks. So we will create interface technologies, you know, simple touch screens. We're all used to an Apple iPhone these days. It's a smartphone, it's an app. If we can make things as simple as that, people will use it um, and people can use it very, very simply. And yeah, it's a big trend that's, that's taking place at the moment and we're here to share that, talk about it, but also talk to people about what is it that they want to do because that helps shape our own research and development journey um, and also knowledge share into the many projects that we are involved in. If someone wants to come to your stand today and tomorrow uh, and talk about you know, how they can have a unique solution provided to them, would you be able to do that? Absolutely. Um, so fundamentally, we have a research and development team and department. Um, I think research and development goes hand in hand with what we're doing. Um, the nature of Accelerate has been more about bespoke solutions over the years. I think those bespoke solutions are becoming the norm now. Um, but everybody needs a tweak and everybody needs a difference. Um, sometimes they think they do, but they might not. And I think engagement is, is part of shaping this future and engagement with end users, with public safety, with other types of industries or private sector organisations, that's how you end up getting the right solution um, that meets the needs of, of people going forward. So can you just tell me who you are and where you work from? Hi, yeah. my name is Steve McClendon. I'm a group manager within Middle West Wales Fire and Rescue Service and I'm currently the Transformation 2020 Innovation Programme Lead. So why did you go to Accelerate? Uh, we've worked with Accelerate over a number of years for our previous incident command units, but within our project we're looking to exploit new technology and basically digitise the fire ground so that we can enhance situational awareness. And we reached out to people we already knew and we Within the project, we've been keen to move away from a traditional customer-supplier relationship, and we already knew we had a really good working relationship with Accelerate, so this was just a natural progression for us. So we've become really good working partners. We're able to have very open and transparent conversations, but they fully understand what our ambitions are and are able to guide us in relation to the type of technology that's out there and how we can deploy it. What's really exciting for us is they're really supportive but really open to new ways of thinking and doing things, hence why we've been able to develop uh, the Lynx Hub with them, which has proven to be a key element of our future digital strategy. And what have you heard on, on the street? What have they been saying about the Hub? Uh, been very positive actually. We have a lot of engagement with other UK fire and rescue services and other public sector bodies, both nationally and internationally. And one of the things we're very proud of is because we've been part of the development is to sh showcase the, the device. What's really interesting is that people start to see when they physically see the hardware, they start to draw the mental picture of what that does and how that fits in and then the uh, possibilities that it can de deliver to them. So it's a really key part for us and it's having a really positive impact. And it will be used for years, years from now? Uh, I think a version of it will be. One of the things we're keen to do is we recognise that this is version 1.1 and we're keen to carry on working with them because we're learning as an organisation what our needs are. I mean, one of the strengths of the T20 programme is that we have a commitment that controlled failure is a healthy option, so we're quite prepared to experiment on things. And if version 1.1 doesn't work, then we'll learn from that and then go straight into version 2. So we see the Lynx Hub and other 
technological capabilities moving forward as our needs and our more importantly our end users start getting used to it and what we want to be is agile enough and we can do that with our partnership with accelerate that when end users go i think we'd like to do this then we can go yeah we can go and have a look and have those discussions